welcome, welcome. Our season starts now. This is going to be a franchise mode of the Green Bay Packers. I plan on doing 30 years worth in this series because I want to see how many championships I can win as GM versus the last 30 years with two superstar quarterbacks in Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. Right now, we currently have Mark Murphy as the owner. That, my friends, is going to change. And there are going to be a lot of changes in the preseason and first year to let go of some of the frustrations that a lot of Packer fans have. You know, first of all, Dom Capers finally get his fired, but he should have been fired years ago. So he's going to go. Will Mike, Mar Mike McCarthy go? Probably, but we'll see. But here's what we're going to start off with today. We're going to have a game. Uh, we're going to have a review of the roster and to see and a little explanation of why I'm doing this. And let's start with looking at the roster in the preseason of the 2016 season. Um, how I look at this is players that are under 80 are just guys and probably should be replaced. People in the 80s probably got something there, 90s for sure. The offense on the Packers in 16 is pretty solid. I mean, you know, Brian Balog is a little low. Uh, Devontae Adams needs to develop. Aaron Ripkowski can't catch anything, and he needs to go. Um, but it's a pretty solid starting line. You know, and James Starks, decent backup. It isn't bad at all. I have no problems with the Packers offense. Packers defense, which runs a 3-4. Ugh, this is just, just a disaster. It really is a disaster. There are just so many holes everywhere. Those linebackers, a 75 and a 72, you know, I mean, Clay Matthews and Julius Peppers are great outside linebackers in a 3-4, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, Damaris Randall, he, he'll, he'll improve. Uh, as of the making of the video, Damaris Randall has been traded to the Browns for Deshaun Kaiser. Uh, in mine, Damaris Randall staying. Uh, the one that is really interesting is Mr. Rollins here. He will get a little change of position, I think, because cornerback is just not his strong point. Special teams, I just do not like him. Just Tim Maste is just terrible. It's just, I don't know. I just don't understand it. And you really can't fix it in the first year from my understanding, you know. So we will go from there. So that's that's kind of the quick rundown of the offense. I will, as far as the rules go, it will be a sim-only league for play. There will be no actual playing. Um, I have some rules, and I'll get into those in a little bit, but because there's ways to pick on the AI in this game that make it not fun, so we will uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, let's do this. This is going to be a quick look at the team, the whole roster, high to low. Aaron Rodgers at the 97, Mike Daniels, Clay Matthews, TJ Lyon, and Jordy Nelson rounding up your 90s. The 80s, Julius Peppers, Josh Sitton, Ryan Cobb, Morgan Burnett, Sam Shields, Eddie Lacy, Nick Perry, Haha Clinton Dix, Jared Cook. Hmm, got a special plan for Jared Cook. Richard Rodgers, David Bactiera, Corey Lindsley, Michael Hyde. Right? That's our, that's our, it's our top players. If you kind of look at their age, some are old, some are young, some are, um, where is he? Some are really old. Oh, there's been some breaking news I just got on my headset here. And, um, yep, yep, breaking news. I'll come right back showing you the breaking news. Breaking news is that Packers have a new owner. Not really a new owner, since they're publicly 
it's a publicly traded company no publicly owned company but our new owner is a lifelong fan Brett Starr and Brett Starr is a very special person to get this opportunity to run the Packers organization so Brett Starr has been a fan of the Packers since they signed Reggie White way back when he actually knew about the Packers before that in the Mikowski eras the Magic Man era but he was not quite a fan then until they signed Reggie White and how that happened was Brett Starr was in sixth grade and he was playing tackle football with a bunch of high schoolers because he went to a small school that had sixth through twelfth grade and he was running and the play was like this Brett Starr was sitting on the on the field playing like deep safety or something and his 12th grader came running down the field is going to score a touchdown and Brett Starr ran into him put the shoulder in perfectly perfect tackle from what he was taught from his peewee football league boom and he woke up 10 minutes later on the sideline the guy standing over him that he tackled or tried to tackle going are you all right and Brett Starr is like oh my head but the guy started laughing he's like Man, you blew me up. You tackled me. I knocked you out, but you tackled me. You're like a mini Reggie White. And ever since then, I've been a Reggie White fan. Right? Shortly after that happened, the Packers got Reggie White. And I said, well, that's a sign. So Brett Starr is now the director of the Packers. Here's a look at our staff. We have a defensive back scouting specialist specialist that's good Mike McCarthy oh Mike McCarthy it's a Packer fan I'm just so tired of you and then a regression specialist who isn't very good at his job Drew Clemens and let me tell you Drew Clemens you're fired Mike McCarthy I know people are gonna freak out because they'll be like whoa you fired Mike McCarthy Brett Starr and I'm like I did you're fired you you get to stay because you're a okay we reveal our new coach let's talk about some of the sign some of the rules that I will be playing by first of all can only sign two free agents per week in the improved team area so this time we are gonna sign we're not going to do it from here. I'm sorry. Not this one. Our two agents that we're going to sign this week are our, I know it's taking a long time. Sorry, sorry. Cornerback Brandon Boykin. A one year contract. Boom. Brandon, welcome to the Packers. And a fullback. Pull back and guess what? It's gonna be our favorite. Returning to the Packers, John Kuhn. Because everybody loved John Kuhn. He's like one of my favorite. Plus that Packer um has a linebacker, no tight end that only caught touchdowns and never played. What was his name? Havner or something like that. That guy too, but John Kuhn. And uh that means that Aaron here. Aaron, you're getting, uh, I was going to put you on the practice squad, but I can't yet. So, that's right. I have to cut four players. Let's talk about this. Look at this. All right. All players. Now, here's the question for you. Is Ricky Lovato, is that amazing that he's a 44 in Madden? I mean, if you're that person, are you like, I'm in Madden, but you're a 44 in Madden, but I'm in Madden and you're not. So, I don't know, that's pretty amazing, but he's no longer on the Packers. Geronimo Allison, um, cost us a playoff game, you're, you're no longer on the Packers. Uh, I don't remember this guy, you're no longer on the Packers. And you're no longer on the Packers. There you go. So. That is my, 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 my team cuts for today. My two signings, 
So now our defense, we got a new 76 on our defense and a new fullback in him. And so we're going to move through week one and we'll be right back for week two. All right, we're back and Brett Hundley got hurt. What a bummer that is. So we'll get to uh, follow the rules and uh, sign two more players. And eh, Mike McCarthy is still our coach right now. He's going to get fired, though. You may have seen him already get fired, but editing, you know? Mm, we don't want to go here yet. We want to go to sign some free agents. Improve the team. Free agents. Now, these are my next two favorite signings. Halfback. We'll sort by speed. And I really, really wanted the Packers to take this guy. I was so upset when Pittsburgh took him. I thought, wow, that guy's fast. And he turned out not to be very good, but he was fast. So he's getting another shot with the Packers. Welcome to the team. Dry Archer. Drew Archer? Dre Archer? Dre Archer. I bet you it's Dre. Dre Archer. And then, got to sign a wide receiver. And uh, it's a very good wide receiver with very low skills. Tyreek Hill, welcome to the Packers. Tyreek Hill has been signed to the Packers. All right, so just kicked my chair. Um, I got to cut six players. We're going to go to the recommendeds and the alls. We'll see that they don't like him. I don't like him. Yeah. You get cut, you get cut, you get to stay, you get cut, you get cut, and you get cut. I think I'm done. Yes, I am. Now, when we next pick up the game, it'll be in the future because the 2016 season in Madden. 17 everybody's done that so we don't really want to deal with that so we're going to come back and we're going to be in the playoffs i can just i can just tell it plus then you get to meet our new coach i'll be right back let me introduce you to our new head coach of the green bay packers craig patterson patterson he is a west coast and an attacking 4-3 because I am tired of Don Capers, tired of the 3-4. I want to run a 4-3. Doesn't want to be a basic 4-3 because we just don't have talent. We need an attacking 4-3. Um, Seattle could probably run a basic 4-3, but the Green Bay talent is just not strong enough. He comes with expert scouting and increased player weekly goal XP. He didn't actually come with that. We've been playing for a while, like I said. We're uh, in the playoffs, so um, my my weekly footage does not exist. So you have to take my word for it that we just played the games. And let's go back, and here you go. Here he is. We went. Taking a long time. We went 11 and 5. We actually went 11 and one and lost the four our four last games. Let's look at the schedule. Um, schedule, 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 schedule. I think it's playoff schedule. I don't really team schedule. Regular season. Here we go. So, Jaguars win. Play times twice. I don't understand. Oh, because I probably exited out. Uh, Vikings was a win. Lions was a win. Giants, Cowboys, Bears, Falcons, Colts, and then the Titans finally beat us. Redskins, Eagles, tight Texans, and then it just got ugly with the Seahawks, the Bears, the Vikings, and the Lions all winning. The only two players that got hurt during this time period were Josh Sitton and Mike Daniels. So, I mean, it was pretty, pretty bad. Eddie Lacy got hurt at the, in uh, the Lions game. He is not back yet. 
he will be back next week. So we have to beat the Lions without Eddie Lacy, which we didn't do the first time. Going back here. Now, let's look at this team now. There's been some changes. Um, we moved TJ Lang out to right tackle and moved JC Treader to uh, right guard, and Byron Balaga is the main backup for almost all the positions. Richard Rogers is the main tight end. You notice that our good friend, um, oh my goodness, I forgot his name. Jared Cook is gone. Jordy Nelson, Tyreek Hill, Adams is still a 76. There's Eddie Lacy, Stray Archer. Aaron Rodgers is confident. Brett Hundley is the backup. John Kuhn still hanging out. And Randall Cobb. Let's look at this defense now that it's changed to a, a 4 3. Haha, -ha, Morgan Burnett. Micah Hyde is the backup safety. And Quentin Rollins is the other backup safety. He's a way better safety than he is a cornerback. So he has been moved to the backup cornerback route. Uh, Clay Matthews is our starting right outside linebacker. Nick Perry is the middle linebacker. Sam Barrington is that. And then we got Sam Shields still running the show. I really miss Sam Shields. I really liked Sam Shields. He did really good considering he was a tiny little guy. Oops. Mike Daniels is on the outside. There's our... Our, our soft middle, Julius Peppers, Demaris Randall, and you can see that Quentin Rollins is now what would be equivalent to the extra back because there's this is our nickel back, and then Micah Hyde is also the dime back, and Quentin Rollins is now the extra back. Um, can I tell you? Now during the season, I moved players around. Mike Daniels spent some time in the middle. And he spent some time as left end, right end. Julius Pepper spent some time as middle linebacker. Trying to figure out how to run the 4-3 with the 3-4 talent we had. This is, this is what I think is the best use of the talent. Mike Daniels drops to an 88 when you put him inside. And he is a beast on the outside. He is not a beast on the inside. He drops down to, Clay Matthews drops down to like an 89 if you put him on the line. So, or 87, 89, I can't remember. So, there's no real good spot for Clay Matthews um, for rushing the passer. So, you use him as a right outside linebacker because his speed is decent. And speed seems to be what is important for these linebackers. So, that's where we go with that. Specialists, uh, I got rid of. Tim Maste and I hired our old punter and he really wasn't much better but you know Tyreek Hill and Andre Archer are our um, returnist, return specialists it's a quick look at the practice squad uh, nothing really really changed here just kind of kept the people going let their contracts run out or whatever We'll, we'll pick up new practice squad people when we draft next. So, um, let's see, what can we talk about next? Because we're not actually going to play any games today. Okay, so, playoff games. I'm going to super sim slow mode the entire playoff game and pick up here and there. I'm not going to watch the whole thing because that would just take a long time. So, uh, you know, inside the 20s or any big plays, I guess, we'll try to pick up, but... We'll, simple, we'll super slow-mo that. The regular season, I was thinking about super slow-moing them, but that's an hour of my time times 16 games. That's kind of brutal. So I'm not sure I can pull that off. It would be kind of cool to see the difference between the normal sim and the you know, super slow sim. Uh, well, only fast sim the preseason games because I just, I just don't care about preseason games. Um... What's next? Rules. Rules we talked about. Oh. In the draft. Okay, so first of all, trading in this system game is broken if you force a trade on the CPU because they just cannot handle the real value. I've seen some really bad trades, you know, a fourth and a 77 for a 90 overall. No team is ever going to do that. So. That is not allowed in this series. I cannot trade for better players 
unless they're on the trading block themselves. So no forced trades. I can put players on the trading block. I cannot force the computer to trade my players. I put Jared Cook on the trading block just before the season. He had four catches for 53 yards when I traded him. I traded him to Houston for a second round in 2018 and a seventh round in 2018, which is kind of far away. So Jared Cook really did not bring anything to the table for the immediate future. We should go look to see how Jared Cook did. Let's do that. We're going to we're going to jump to the roster and find Jared Cook here. So, he said he was on the Houston Texans. And he's a tight end. And there we go. He is a... He is a... He went up to, because I traded him out of the 82, and now he's an 84. And he did what for them? He did... 32 receptions for 344 yards and no touchdowns. So, really, when you think about it, because for those 28 touchdowns, 200 some yards, and no touchdowns for a two and a seven, and his contract expired, Green Bay won that trade. And that was just putting him for the trading block. That's how bad the CPU is at trading. So, that's why we're just not going to do it very often. In the draft, I'm going to be allowing myself one trade back and never trading up and just can't do it so um but i am gonna allow one trade back just in case i get up you know a second round and there's just absolutely no talent why not you know but no more than one and the scouting side of it which i can't show you because i can't scout now i know there's ways to figure out who's perfect on the scouting i don't want to play that way i'm playing like it's, you know, hit or miss kind of thing. You know, I, I don't want all superstars on the team. So, I mean, yeah, we're not going to win a bunch of Super Bowls doing that, but it's just better that way. So, I'm not going to do that. We're going to have scouting is going to be a board. And, well, we'll get into it when we get into scouting. Hopefully, that's not until we win the Super Bowl this year because that would be pretty cool. First year taking over is Brett Starr winning the Super Bowl. It was looking really good when we were like 10 and 1, but now that we're 11 and 5, I just, I don't know what happened. I, Aaron Rodgers played terrible for the last couple of games. Let's look at Aaron Rodgers' stats for the year, because because we'll go over some awards that people won in a minute, too. Aaron Rodgers, he, he had himself a phenomenal 2016 with 35 touchdowns at a very high 12 interceptions, but, I mean, only took 16 sacks during the year. His completion percentage was pretty solid, you know, better than 15. Um, all in all, he was pretty good. He did not win MVP of the year. He won Offensive Player of the Year. So, go back over here, and you can see that he is pro bowl qb of the year and offensive player of the year so he had himself a little good year yes he did every single one of the offensive linemen except for nope i think every one of the linemen went to the pro bowl so and richard rogers went to the pro bowl randall cobb randall cobb led the league in in catches he had a very good year and it's funny because the prior year seeing pro bowl in reception leader the prior year it, the prior time i played this jordy nelson had a phenomenal year and red cobb had a terrible year this year jordy nelson went to the pro bowl you know but in since he's the one i wonder if we should move him to the two and make randall the one next year so he starts getting as he gets older he gets less coverage or make him even the three and move adams up to the two that way he won't be sitting on the, the other team's ones. I mean, there's so many options there. <clears throat> so, when we have our... <clears throat> Sorry, got to get a drink of water. All right, next episode, we're going to go over who I cut, who I drafted, not drafted, who I cut, who I signed, who I re-signed, who I let go, 
and then we're going to start the Lions Packers game. But for now, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think, leave comments. Let's get this YouTube channel going again. It's been a couple of years since I played with it, and I want to make a good series on the Packers going 30 years. Help me do this. Thank you guys. I'm out.